I don't believe it's the third person mode, because it's worked in many modes. Uh, even though the mode might become less stable than you used the third person mode, but I don't believe that was the cause for the crash. So it kind of game locked in the path and crashed. Uh, but it wasn't a game freeze, it was more like a normal crash, I believe, uh, in the back of. Uh, I suspect that the reason for the crash was the Murlocs. They have very large unit numbers, and uh, that's why they are not maximum numbers, because the more numbers they have, the more likely the path will start to crash. Uh, because when you have everyone visible at once, and they are too numerous, the game can crash for some reason. Oh, I forgot to bring out the... Uh, microphone. Alright, <coughs> so welcome back to Warcraft of the War. I think you heard what I said, it's just that I had not moved out the microphone from the headset, so <laughs> I uh, probably have uh, had very low sound there. Okay, so um, the issue is that uh, the Murlocs are very numerous, just like the Kiraji and the, the Goblins, and uh, that increases the chance of battles to crash in battle because when you have every unit visible and uh, a lot of numbers then for some reason it can crash. Um, so I believe it was the Murlocs or it's the old issue from vanilla medieval total war kingdoms where if, if certain units um, trample over each other or stumble upon each other like they move into each other and such in, in a narrow passage or something then it can crash. Looked before it cr crashed we lost the final five minutes of the last video. Uh, it looked uh, like before it crashed that the Murlocs were tramping, trampling all over each other in in like a uh, narrow location. Uh, so uh, could be the reason. I don't know. Anyway, I know that the numerous units like the Murlocs, the Goblins, and the Kiraji can crash because of their numbers and uh, that's why we want to get rid of the Murloc rebels as soon as possible okay other units that are not as numerous per unit they won't be a problem and the tool will prevent giants from crashing I believe when I played the multiplayer as the blood elves against the guy uh, called himself order 66 I believe that we had a crash in one battle, despite using the tools, it can still crash uh, even when using the tool. But uh, in comparison, if, if you use the tool and it is CTD in battle, then it happens very, very rarely. It almost never happens. Uh, but if you do not use the tool, it will happen immediately when you start the battle if you have a giant unit in the battle. So, so instead of having an immediate crash, you can like play the battle most of the time. But in rare occasions, on rare occasions you can have a crash and anyway okay we will play this battle again hope that it won't crash this time I wanted to finish this battle in the previous episode now we'll finish all the three remaining crash if it crashes in this battle we'll just <laughs> now we'll just restart it the other battles we'll do more than one video okay let's start deployment Night Elven Archers can be in loose formation. Other units, I think, be in shield wall formation. Alright, we select the general. Pause the game. Alright, we are controlling the general in battle. He looks different now. So, uh, Brawl Beer Mantle has a generic uh, druid model as his model. He doesn't look the same every time. He's a bear in on the map, and he's a random male druid in battle. That might be changed later. I might choose one of the male druids as his model. Currently, he can look different per battle, randomly per battle. Okay, let's start the battle. Reinforcements, Captain Florandir. Okay. We're controlling them too. Just need them to enter. Normal speed on. We have the 
<coughs> mounted Night Elven Warriors and the Night Elven Archers here. We'll send the Night Elven Archers against the enemy. We have another unit of mounted Night Elven Warriors here. It's the worst melee cavalry in the, for the Night Elves. I believe that units shouldn't crash unless they are very numerous like the Murlocs and you have uh, too many of them on the screen at once. Usually won't happen but could happen. Uh, any giant units, hounds, etc. they should be stable now thanks to the tool. But uh, the, the other units unfortunately they, if they are too numerous for some reason it can cause issues in this game. It doesn't cause issues in Rome to war but in medieval 2 it does. Okay, lose formation with these guys too. We'll move over here. We have the Murlocs. See, they are very numerous. We want the archers to attack the Javeliners. Start to run. won't use the cavalry unless, unless we have to. Seems to be some kind of glitch here with the water. Like a wall of water for some reason. Weird. Looked weird. Now it isn't visible anymore. We are not sending in the others un until these guys have got them closer. They are far away. We can Fast forward. We want all the archers to start firing before sending in any of the melee units. Now we are outside. Yeah, the water was very weird on this battlefield. Placed weirdly on the land. It looked very weird. down the game a little bit. So don't want them to run into the enemy. So they're almost ready to fire now. They have a very long range. They will soon start to fire upon the Murlocs. There is the plaza. Most of the Murlocs are. We can see the banners there. The rebels, minor factions. Oh, they will start fire now. Good. I'll send in the rest, the archers. Unit. We don't want to attack infantry here. Can't be zoomed in on them when they fire, then the camera will zoom in on the, on the arrows. Now we'll send in these guys too. This is normal speed, they are still pretty st uh, fast. These units. The archers of the night elves. Way faster than humans. Yeah, they would probably look better without the cape, to be honest. But they had capes in the in the video, I believe. The intro video of World of Warcraft and the classic. They looked exactly like this. The night elf in the video. <coughs> but the cape doesn't look that good in, in the game. Many night elves, 125, okay. Like the model, I just don't like the arms. 
would have been better if they had been built on a normal skeleton. So they would have had normal arms and such. You know, they would have been shorter than in lore, but it would have looked perfect. In, in terms of arms and legs and such. Right, these guys are ready to fire. some troops. Maybe the javelin throwers have killed some of them. Yeah, the Murlocs had a javelin throwing unit, so they probably fired back at them. We'll avoid uh, looking at the Murlocs too much, as it could potentially crash if we do. Usually it won't, but I don't want to crash, so I need to restart everything again and speak again. Just the, the most numerous units, like the Karachi, the Murlocs, and the Goblins. But the Goblins didn't crash when I played them, so maybe they've been fixed. I reduced their numbers, they used to have even more numbers numbers in the past. Poor Murlocs were there too. What the fuck are you doing? Don't run into the water. Yeah, they are firing back at the night halves. <coughs> they have really cool, unique projectiles, these elves, too. You can see their <coughs> arrows are pretty big. empty their quivers before we send in infantry. It's fine. The Night Elven archers are the most common unit in the Night Elven army. At least in Warcraft 3. Eleven remaining of those guys. Actually, you don't need to shoot the those guys. Shoot the guys over there instead. And you can fire on those guys. And then we'll send our volunteers. Handle these guys. March soldiers. So we have two units of males and two units of females in this unit. One with a ponytail, purple ponytail, and one with this red hair, and then we have the green haired ponytailed man. 
male elf and uh, should have another male elf too. Two male elves there somewhere. So we have 125 of the <coughs> Italian volunteers. Prefer how this unit looks over the better basic units, as they had females in the unit and such. It's a more fun unit to look at, but they are sucky. They suck in comparison. See their stats. 7, 4, 13, they are still pretty good. They can make real wall, can hide anywhere. Yeah, they are not that bad, they are very good for a militia unit. One of the best militias in the game, for sure. They can even do real wall. Here we have the Night of an Archers. They are still firing. Oh, we charge. Lone Gorlock the there. Is dead. So is their general. Alright, good job. All of Calitras, they have the same names as the Naga generals. Okay. I just changed the models. This unit is still firing. Yeah, they do spread out when they are not hitting. They still have this animation of the militia. So if you leave them by in cities, they will walk around. But they are still good because they can do shield wall. And they, in, on the battlefield, they won't walk around because they are hidden. And then they stand still. Here are the enemy with their. Archers. We'll just pass by. Only saw three different models in this unit, but I believe they have a second male model too somewhere. Maybe he didn't spawn in this unit this time spawn random units each time you start a battle. Alright, got to fight in Mali soon. They are aided by the archers. They are still outnumbered I believe. Volunteers. We remain true and wholehearted. Victory will be ours. Probably killed her. No, she died now. And Eleven remaining. Murlocs are outnumbering us. Unwise to praise the day before sunset. 
But our men are winning the battle and forging a world <coughs> All right. Good to know. Okay, so they are winning. But I think the Murlocs are too ma too many here. But the uh, El Elven archers are not even firing. Don't want to send him in Lee. We have no ammo left, okay. Send in the Elven warriors and the spearmen. Hope they reach the battlefield in time before this unit has broken or been killed. I don't know if they break or not. There are some militia units in this mod that do not break. Because I didn't like the idea of big numbers just routing in the past. Maybe I will change it. If they are militia. They have the Sea Witch officer, the Murloc unit over there. So this is the worst unit in the army, the volunteers. Still like their looks better than the swordsmen, I mean warriors, and the spearmen. And the fact they had uh, mixed genders. Of course, I always like the females of the night elves. I played a night elven druid on Inval of Warcraft. So it was my best character, so I killed that sea witch officer there. It was a green haired night elven druid, long green hair, purple skin. Yeah, we are at number yeah, 50 remaining still. Jab soldiers. Alright, 49 remaining. We may be able to win with what we have here. We will be backed up before, before they are defeated. You can see our reinforcements over there. I didn't order the wrong units now. We'll have the spearmen and the warriors coming soon. It is on the spearman has arrived, the night of one spearman. Our men are winning the battle, warriors. Many of the militia is still around. Twenty. Okay, they just killed that girl. Another one died there. Yeah, they killed almost all the volunteers. Just in time for the others to come. Take their place. 13 remaining. Yeah, the volunteers wouldn't have won alone. They are being defeated now. 10 remaining. I think the spearmen and the warriors will win. For sure. Wise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle. The Murlocs had one advantage, and that's their numbers. Here we have spearmen. You they're pretty cool, actually. Their helmets and such. Ah, female volunteers still alive. Only two remaining alive now. The volunteers. Like civilians armed with sword and shield. Willing to fight the night elves. 
died. They managed to kill all the volunteers. We have one girl still alive. Fighting side by side with this spearman unit. They are better. They have better shield and better weapon, spear, long spear. Oh, she died. They killed the entire unit of volunteers. We have the swordsman here too. It is unwise to praise the day before something. The spearman. Our men are winning the battle. Spearman looked kind of cool. A worthy victory. Shields remind me of Roman shields, to some extent. How many have we killed? We have killed 79% of the enemy, we lost 21% of our troops, 8% of the enemy has been killed, we lost 21% of our troops. I think we can win this. So there was a guy who made voices for, the, for this mod for the night elves he previewed in a video they didn't release his work it would be cool to add that but anyway he had written something about fixing something in the mod and after that he could make the mod uh, actually recreate the sound files which is needed to get sound files to work you, you uh, add your own custom music and custom voices and such and then have a file regenerate and that doesn't work for some reason. It fails to regenerate but <coughs> he fixed it somehow. I don't remember how he fixed it but he wrote about it so I, I would need to uh, search for his post somewhere on the Warcraft Total War Discord to know how he did it. But even so it would require some work to uh, add custom voices to the faction unless he is releasing his work so so one can just use his but i don't know all right but he had only done the night elves i believe i tried doing the humans but couldn't get the voices to work maybe after fixing that issue that it might work then we would have both the humans and the night elves with proper work of three voices and such. Alright. Killed another Murloc there. They also had some spearmen with shields, pikemen. Our spears are slightly longer, we have way better stats too, way better armor. They do not have any armor on their body. They, they have a very similar unit. They, uh, I think we'll win this. Take these ruins too. <coughs> then we've taken both the ruins that I took in the first episode of the old Let's Play. I had only done two. We have a third one we need to take that I took in the third episode. And the fourth one that we need to take that will taken instead of defeating the army on the field. If we defeat the Naga army on the field instead we'll take their capital little direct held by the rebels and unfortunately the capital is just a village in this version. <coughs> and not a large city like it used to be when the Naga held it. My Lord, our men oh here are the swordsmen the shield wall. I think we have won now. They're killing off the final units over there. Swordsmen are standing in shield wall formation behind the spearmen. The spearmen are doing all the fighting here. So yeah, these are the basic infantry troops. 
the night elves, basic soldiers. Night elves obviously are a cavalry and ranged focused faction, but unlike the, the high elves, they do not focus on uh, dismounted rangers and uh, dismounted archers. Instead, they are more of a horse archer focused faction. They have a lot of mounted ranged units like dryads and huntresses. the hunters is uh, they are riding panthers and throwing giant shurikens at enemies <coughs> and the dryads are mounted javeliners throwing javelins at enemies and then they have the, they have the, the the other unit they don't remember the name where they ride hippo yeah the hippogriff archers archers on top of hippogriffs shooting their arrows and those mounts can fly just like the griffins they are ranged. We won the battle. Good job, soldiers. Alright. Here, Brawl Mantle. Eh, sorry, Brawl Bear Mantle is his name. Yes, won. I don't know what the. Ah, we have Murlocs over there. And uh, soldiers there. Spearmen did enough. You want the uh, swordsmen or warriors to fight now? We have 100 of them remaining. How many spearmen? 68. Yeah, this, this, the warriors need to fight a little bit more. These are tired hunters. They had more than one of those. The battle is in our favor. Actually, the warriors are better against them than the spearmen. Victory Usually, warriors are better against spears than spearmen. So we should win this. So they can cut off the spears and kill them. Well, their shields protect against spears. They would protect against the spear attack and then they would cut off the spear and then they would kill them. Oh, look. So instead of fighting the Naga faction they get to fight weaker Murloc units. They still kind of fit the area. this campaign, because it's the Reign of Chaos campaign, we will only focus on Kalimdor. Well, the main focus is to kill off the Burning Legion, the demons in Kalimdor. And uh, then focus on the Horde and the Karadji. After that, if Rack trolls, we could probably take a trip to Eastern Kingdom to kill off the Burning Legion there. So you might have a mission to kill off the Burning Legion in the Eastern Kingdoms. That's about it, I believe. We will not bother with Scourge. At least I don't plan on it. Ran of the good factions. In other words, the humans, the dwarves. We do not plan to have a war with the goblins unless they attack us, but if they attack us, we will fight them to stay neutral in lore. Any rebels will be killed, of course.
lost a few. We're 83 now. We were 100 when the battle started against this unit. Murloc Tidehunters. Level 79, how many enemies are there? 78. Alright, we'll let them fight anyway. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. That's the reinforcements. We'll send the spearmen if they are defeated. Think they will win. They have even numbers. The warriors should be the better troops. Even if they have the upper ground. Oof. Almost died. Similar settlement against similar units. Okay, we'll end it. Uh, crashed previously. Clear victory, Brawl Bear Mantle of the Night Elves, 890 Night Elves. Lost 212 and uh, 678 remaining. Alive. Enemies killed 629, so we killed way more than we lost and way more than we had in the beginning. Warlord Calidress of the Murlocs, or the Gorlock, actually, he's a Gorlock. Had 636 Murlocs, lost all of them, they killed 300 of <laughs> our troops, and here are the details, okay. Alright, the battle were each to the Fullborgs. Fullborgs, I believe. Fullborgs, or Fullborgs, I don't know, you will have to check. So we own this one too. Let them have it. They have no buildings. We'll convert into a Morton Bailey. Match the troops. Yes. We couldn't move the general because he had moved her out and such. We'll move back the spearman. Move out Rain, Wolf Runner, the general. Can't reach this area this time. That's the third area I wanted to take, actually. And Marmy Rats, Brawl Bear Mantle. Okay. We have this area too. The bonus area with the... Furbolgs. Okay. Yes. have a huge army there. Release right. Levin. They have one dangerous unit. Burbolg Tramons, a mage unit, then have a bunch of infantry units. They also lack their unit info cards. Okay, uh, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Burbolg infantry and 1 mage. We have an entire army. I think we will control both manually so they are not wasted against the mage. We have 1 mage scenarios in general. It's a mage unit. Mounted mage unit. Then we have furbolgs too. We can use our furbolg mages against 
against the rebel Urbogs. I think we'll do this battle first. Oh, they have a huge force here. We might not have enough to win. Might need to send this unit too. Save the game here, so I don't have to replay stuff. Okay, I will attack. We have a 2-1 advantage in our favor. Fight battle on the battle map. This was the fourth planned battle. It became the third one. And then we have a fifth one too. So we will do in different moves here. We will take the Fulborg area to start deployment. And uh, let's see here. Do we have uh, the. Yeah, I can control the general, Neisha. She's the only general of this type that you can have in the game. Real cool general. Knight Eleven Huntress. The Panther Mount. A really nice looking female rider model. Doesn't look glitched. I really like that model. Cool to, to have her as playable general. Okay. Start the deployment. So this is how she looks. You can walk around on the panther. Yeah, I really like this model. She's a unique custom general. Of course the unit exists, but this is the only general that looks like this that you can play as. Really good looking. I believe uh, the Night Elven Rider there is fan made custom model. Made for Warcraft 3 mods. It's like a uh, high quality HD resolution model based on one of the Warcraft 3 models so it looks exactly like an old Warcraft 3 hundreds but uh, it's a high resolution model and we added it to Warcraft to the war easily one of the coolest models the night elves no longer look like that in World of Warcraft they have a slightly more purple look here and they look a little bit different more cartoony in a way yeah, really cool model. Panther is from Wood Classic, classic of course. Yeah, this is a really, go really good looking one. I like... Uh, I usually don't like using the third person mod when controlling mounted characters, but this is an exception. It really looks really cool. She's a bodyguard of Huntresses. She looks exactly like the others. She have these guy and sky source shurikens. But uh, when she throws them it's just a I believe a javelin. It didn't have a projectile like that. It will also have armored archers, the moon strikers, they are better than the Night Elven Archers, they have similar stats but better armor. Yeah, she didn't have the largest force. Alright, yeah, easily one of my favorite generals this mod. She looks so good. And it's cool to ride, ride around with a panther in the mod. Okay. We'll zoom out. And now we will try to run. And they even like the Panthers of World of Warcraft Classic when they move up the, the head like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, these looked good when they ran, unlike the Cantor units. They looked glitched when they ran, but good when they walked around. Decent. Even though she looked better when she uh, walked, just the model stretches a bit when she ran. When she, when the panther is running, the rider stretches a bit. This is still pretty cool. Yeah. I, I like it. Kind of cool. Controlling this unit. There is one other mounted unit like this, but it's Tyrande. She's riding a white tiger. It's a different type of unit. She uses a bow instead. general in these areas. Neifra. Another Murloc army here. Similar to the others. Don't know where they will come from. Come from there. Certainly send in the archers first. Against their javeliners and the moon strikers too. These are the moon strikers. They have 10 at melee attack, 11 missile attack. 14 total defense, 1 hit points, can hide anywhere effective against armor, they can penetrate or pierce armor, combat bonus in woods, long range missiles, excellent morale, the archers, they have 7 melee attack, 8 missile attack, so they have 7 and 8 instead of 10 and 11, then they have 9 total defense, instead of 14 for their moon strikers, and uh, the original ones, the, the Nightland Archers cannot pierce armor like the, the Moon Strikers can. So the Moon Strikers are way better in everything. They have better armor, better attack, better defense. I mean, armor and defense is the same, but I mean, they have armor penetration too. So this is a much better unit. Also looks less glitched, I believe. The arms doesn't look as attractive as the more lightly clad ones. All right, so this is a, the better one, like an upgraded Night Elven Archer called the Moon Strikers. There is an even better Archer unit that is dismounted. I just like the, the look of this a little bit more than the other one when it comes to, you know, not being glitched. This looked way better in that sense. The mood just ended up looking better. On the skeleton. Fast forward. Ah, seems the normal archers are faster. They are lightly clad, so they should be faster. The others are maybe they didn't look too good when they moved up their body like that. 
Anyway, they, they are not as fast because they have heavy armor. Okay. All the archers are firing now. Where the fuck are the archers? Here. Alright. We can have normal speed on. I believe the moon strikers have the same arrow as the archers. Not the skilled with the bow. when they move up their, uh, their body like that, when they are firing like that, this looks kinda bad this is a skeleton issue I guess that one looks even worse when they move up like that All right. so yeah it's because uh, Bant uh, decided to go for accurate size of units Despite using a normal uh, human skeleton, it would have been better to just make them the same size as the humans to prevent them from being glitched. I believe other mods like Hyrule to Lore, they created Hyrule to Lore, he, he made his own skeletons to fit the smaller size, the, longer, the taller size. Uh, we could do that for some units like the trolls by using, uh, for example, the moblins of Harry to Lore, or the orcs of Warhammer. With the elves, there were no suitable ones. So he just used the human ones, but he kept the whole size, and that ended up making the units glitch to, uh, to a degree. Archers are moving, probably because the target moved, so they need to move closer to fire at the target. Don't want you to run there, just fire at them. reason. They're still firing over there. They like the models. I think they look glitched to some degree. Okay, it look good when they start normal. Uh, yeah, it would be good if, if the models were sized to normal human size. I don't know how to do it. I did it for strat models, so it shouldn't be too e too difficult. These are battle models. Maybe it's easy, maybe it's just an edit. 
skeleton. Where you move them, uh, you, you just make them a little bit smaller. Fit the skeleton perfectly, and they would be fine. Yeah, they would be smaller than in lower, but they would look perfect in terms of not being glitched and such. They are firing back at the Night of an Archer, there we saw some javelins. This is Eldar at the Medit in the village in the Reign of Chaos campaign. It didn't make any sense to have it be a large city anymore when the Naga isn't present anymore. This takes place before the Naga settles there. So. Only right. half the enemy force remains. Killed 52, 53% of the enemy and lost only 1% of our troops. Nice. Yeah, so the archers are really effective. Want them to kill as many as possible. Only when they are out of ammo will we send in the infantry. Eight percent enemies killed. One percent enemies killed. One percent allies killed. It made a big difference. The moon strikers. In previous battles, we also had two archers, and they ran out of ammo before we had killed the enemy. Seems the moon strikers are out of ammo. They brought forward their swords. They are pretty good in melee too. We don't want to use them there. See again, they have ten melee. So they are pretty good. And they also have defense fourteen. They are capable infantry unit too. We don't want to waste them. They're a stronger infantry unit than the swordsman and the spearman, I believe. While at the same time being a better archer unit than this unit. Enemies killed. Okay. Don't have to watch the Murlocs. Out of fear of that crash, I think. They should be few enough now for it to not happen. But just to be safe, it's better to focus on the night elves. So then we'll conquer this area, we'll take the full bulk, uh, full bulk, full, full bulk area, I believe, or full bulk, full, full bulk, I guess. And after that, we will have to end the turn, and then we'll take the final Murloc area. I had also taken previously, I didn't take the full bulk area, but kind of want to take it too. And also there is a uh, full bulk area we want in the Tarnasus IR too. I have done this as well. We will take a few more areas here from the rebels for other factions like the Horde takes them.
Yeah, the movie looks great like this. Many are killed, 100%. Only their general is alive, the goal of general. He died. Our we have won. Slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Nisha has won, taken this area of Eldaret. The Yentus has named the Yentus Law. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Alright, battle is over. Clear victory. Nisha had 716 Night Elves. Lost only 3 units. Many remaining 713. My looks very used to numbers here, but to do it with only those 3 archer units. Very good. Many remaining 713. Enemy skill 636. They lost everyone. They killed only 4. Here are the details. Night Elven archers killed 651. Another unit killed 546, I think. Hard to see. Um, yeah. The moon strikers kill 637. Okay. Really cool to play. <laughs> Have it. And Marmarats, Nasha. Tiny expands, Nasha. War Blaves of Athenot. An addition has been made to this person's encourage followers and belongings. It's man's nature to follow these to those who are more remarkable and worthy. War Blaves of Athenot. So this trait worked. Or in chill or whatever. She earned something when she won that battle. Got an item. Warglaves of Asnot. Warglaves of Asnot are a pair of blades, personal weapons of Ilden Storm Rage. Region of David, the weapons of the demon Doomguard Asnot. Defeated by Ilden during the War of the Ancients. Plus 2 to authority, plus 2 to command, plus 2 to dread, plus 2 to attack, and plus 4 to defense. Believe this is probably added by Krag. So, so some of these work uh, functions in the mod, the traits do not. But the ancillaries, we can still find them and get them when we take certain areas. Okay. Let's move the spearmen back to Nendis. Fuck, couldn't reach this time. And we'll send a swordsman. This area also has no buildings. We'll convert settlement to another rebel area of there, but they have a sea guy and leader. It'll be more difficult to take. Yes. Too few over there. Yes. I think we will. I think the orcs are too numerous, we'll move here instead. This is Tyrande the Whisperwind, the other mounted general. It isn't a Kentaur styled unit. Okay. You also have this area. Orders? Orders. Kind of want yes. replace. No, I don't. We will use these. They have a lot of troops. They might be too strong there. How many do they have? Okay. Orders? Looks too dangerous, yes. to be honest. We will move back. Four. Move to 
this unit. And that unit. Move anymore this time with others. It's for construction. Might be some buildings you want. Eleven market to go for that. Money can still attack here this time. Yes. Yes, I think we'll do that. We the Save the game. And we will attack. So the captain of the night elves have the same portrait as Nasha. It's Nasha's portrait. And we have Scenarius, the brother of Remulus, the other Kantar general. Or Keeper of the Crow General. <laughs> he has 693 Night Elves and the Captain has 563. Uh, including, we have also some Full Bulgs. Fur Bulgs. Okay. The enemy also has Fur Bulgs. We have a 5 3 advantage. Let's attack. <laughs> Start deployment. Down that. Control the general. Similar general to in the Remulus. Now it's Scenarius. We have a Knight Elven city here. Problem with them is that they are a little bit laggy. Had to remove some of the levels because they lagged too much when we were fighting in them. This one should be better. Could still cause some lag, I believe. They are originally from Elder Scrolls to the war and reskinned with Warhammer uh, textures for the walls remade into Night Elven. High Elven textures remade into Night Elven. And then buildings are Almiri Elder Scrolls buildings made into, uh, painted into a night elven instead. They had very similar style. Problem is the Taylor Scrolls cities, they cause a lot of lag. We have any siege here yeah, we do. Okay, let's start the battle. We will send the unit towards the gate. Lose formation. Next stop. We'll send the uh, volunteers instead. Reinforcements, Captain Dazzler of the Night Elves. Okay. We'll also check where they have their mages. They pretty much conquered the Night Elven area. A lot of infantry. I don't fear the infantry. It's just the mage that is dangerous. These are probably the mages. They have staffs. Okay, we will send the siege tower. The ladders. Furbogs. Drop the sea tram with the warriors. So this is a more worthwhile settlement to take. Is it's a town or something? The shape of a city, I don't remember. Probably uh, no, it's a castle actually. Uh, Night Elven castles are just cities, I believe. Okay. There were no suitable models for castles. The Night Elves didn't have castles in the war, anyway. 
the fur bugs, they can also be recruited as mercenaries in different areas on the map. That's why we also have fur bugs in their own home areas. Taking over this night elven area. So we'll waste our own fur bugs first. So their stats 14 attack, that's pretty good. One charge bonus, 14 defense, one hit point, combat bonus in snow. They have a bonus on this terrain. Excellent morale, well, very good stamina. Furbolg Maulers. About the uh, other unit. Furbolg Shamans. 14 missile attack instead. They are missile attack. Very really good. Uh, one hit point. Six defense. Very bad defense. Effective against armor. They can penetrate armor. Long range missiles. Excellent morale. Mage are fitted orders. Okay. The mages are really good too. Losing a few troops, I think. They have a tower. Tower is shooting at us. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. Right, our bolts will move up the ladders. On the 49th, and they are quite numerous. Both the ladders are at the walls. To a siege tower too. Its way. The ram is almost at the wall to a gate too. The gate has. Uh, they had oil too. Very advanced for fur bulks. They were tribal, they shouldn't have that war. advantage. But they are not advanced normally, but they are holding an elven, night elven settlement, that's why. It will be a good settlement to take. We can easily defend this area. Information with the uh, ram. Fuck, I forgot that we should never do that. And they are busy the doing that because they now will the work stop doing the ramming. I need to click on them again to attack the ram. Let's kill the. Kill those guys. No, we will kill those guys. Down there. Oh, they are killing our poor. Um, volunteers here. I will send in the warriors too. No, we won't. Send in the rest of the fur bugs that are not in the battle. Fight. They are just militia anyway. You'd rather spend the fur bulks and the militia than other troops. Fur bulks are pretty big actually. Their mages have arrived. So we need to post the game. I don't know where they are too. The bulk maulers. Should be in the wall. Zoom in. There is the mage unit. Okay, we also have mages. They'll be in the 
transformation and we'll attack their mage with them. The archers also attack them. Alright, hopefully that will be enough. Attack them on the walls. Killed almost everyone on the walls. They were an idiot and didn't pay attention to what happened on the walls. Look at how many bodies were sitting ducks for these mages. They killed them when they were standing there. They lost an entire unit there. How is it going for our volunteers? We have 15 here. They look small compared to the fur bogs. We only have 4 remaining. They killed the volunteers. They are pretty good, the fur bogs actually. They have good stats. Better than the militia. Look, 7, 4, 13. And the fur bogs. 14, 14. Yeah, they, they are better. Only one remaining. Humanoid bears usually friendly to the night elves, but also sometimes hostile. Very tribal. Kill the volunteers. We will have our robots fight them. We have a fewer. I think it's time to send in the warriors into that fight. They need some backup. And even this unit of militia. We have an entire unit of militia here. The battle is in our favor. Ah, they're far if away. If the reinforcements... Victory will be ours. It'll take forever for them to move there. Look at the minimap. They're over there. These are allied furbolgs. even with their fur bulks, but the problem is their mage. We have more mages, but they are protected by the walls. Sent out more of the maulers. Really cool unit. Remember, think remember thinking it was cool to place a fur in Warcraft, World of Warcraft. It was like an... <coughs> A mission or something or an item where you could like temporarily take the form of a, of a furball and run around as a furball. All right. Yeah, they look great. They don't look glitched either. Even though their arms are pretty long, maybe that arm is a little bit too long. Look good. When they are covering like this, they look a little bit glitched. Not when they stand upright. Sent in some of the warriors now. So 
fur bugs, they are pretty much human, humanoid bears. They do not speak much, they are very feral. They are like animals, slightly more intelligent. They are more intelligent than animals, but they are not as intelligent as humans or elves or whatever, even orcs. Yeah, they were a good unit. Look at the skills of the spearmen. 12, 4, 18, 12, 3, 16. Look at these guys. 14, 14. Okay, they have less charge, but better. I believe better attack and first defense. Then the spearman and worse defense. Then the swordsman. So the swordsman and the spearman have better defense, but worse attack than the fur bugs. Killed 42% and lost 26% of our troops. This is the first interesting settlement we are taking. Of course, the others can be trans uh, converted into better settlements and such. They build up the population and so. It will take a while until they become a city. Reduce the time for it to, uh, I mean, increase the time for it to, uh, before you get up. Great is in our favor. I believe we need more. And will be ours. I've increased the, the time it takes to upgrade the settlement. We need more population, growth, and such. Almost lost our fur bugs now. Don't know where the others are. That one. Ah, they are on the wall still. Even arches, why are they moving there? Shouldn't move there. There are archers there too. Ah, uh, they follow the mage, probably. Because the mage moved away from the wall. And into the city. That's an I like the furball. Yeah, I like the furball. They are big enough to look of scary and strong enough to be of value to the arm. They are good Markner unit. Most Markners in this mod are really bad. The furbolgs are actually good. Even the melee ones. Mages are always good, no matter what unit. Even the Gorlock is good. But uh, melee units are not always good. They won here. Join 
the furbolgs up here, fighting on the walls against the other furbolgs. These guys can destroy the gate. some of fruit in the city. Okay. These are enemies. Okay. Warriors are destroying gate. Should be doing that. They've lost the units of Furbolg melee the infantry. They are killed. Attack the walls. The warriors and the volunteers. Even the spearmen could join. Alright. So they killed our melee furballs. Yeah, the mage is still alive. When archers are still firing. Killed 54% of the enemy, lost 1% of our troops. Yeah, really cool settlement. Only one mage alive. That's why they retreated into the settlement. I wonder how they managed to kill them. Well, the, ar the archers can shoot over the walls. They were the ones that killed them, I guess. I don't know what the warriors are doing. If that's the case, you just drop the ram. And attack the fur bolts there. Walls and to fight the uh, Thorbolg enemy on the wall. Yeah, the Aldmir settlements of the Elder Scrolls mod really looked like Night Elven settlements. We only needed to change the colors and they looked perfect. Like Night Elven cities, or buildings at least. Of course, the wall is a little bit small. The ladders are intended for larger walls. is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. And more furballs over there. Down the walls. Yeah, we have a lot of furballs to kill in different rebel areas. All the rebel areas in the Night Elven areas and Naga areas do not Murloc or Furbolg. There are a lot of them. It 
is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Entire army. The battle was still kind of difficult. We lost 34 percent troops, and they lost 56 percent. We had more than an army. Spearmen have arrived here on the walls. Laying them on the walls. We are winning. Kill 59%, they killed 38%, but it's pretty even still. They're not le leading by too much. Percentage lead with the fur bog minor faction here. Come on, soldiers, kill them. Yeah, I kind of like. And there are even bigger ones in Northrend that you also can hire as mercenaries in the area of the Wodrasil tree in the middle between the Dracaria and, and the Vriko. 
No world. Night Elven area. You might want to go there just to <laughs> get those units at one point and take the free. It will be almost impossible to hold, so I don't know. Maybe in the Frozen Throne campaign later, maybe. Yeah, maybe in the Frozen Throne campaign we'll also play the Night Elf. Try attacking the Scourge and all that. Then we would be forced to fight probably the Warden and the others again first. In the Frozen Throne campaign where they are stronger. Start with all their areas and such. We broke the furballs here. What about their other units? Our volunteers are killing them off over here. The walls. there. Okay. Need to send reinforcements the way. Give grace to God. We have a captain. Send them from this war. place. Move through here. Then down there and fight the fur bogs. Help our volunteers, but there are only three of them alive now. We lost the volunteer unit, they were 46, just was a few minutes ago. Now we sent the other troops there. Fight the fur bolts. Should be winning that battle. Even have more troops coming from below. Spearman. Entire unit there to attack. They are outnumbered, they can't win. They'll all be slaughtered. They're broke. straight into our spears and swords. To praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. You yeah, have some troops here. They're still fighting. Many have killed seventy three percent. guys too. Two of them won't stand a chance. But other troops Sit there. The mage there. 
only one guy. Not much of a threat. Arriving here, entire unit eight fur bogs. Be prepared to fight that unit. Oh, they have more troops there. They should go there and fight them. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. All right. Herbox still put up put up a big fight here. They weren't that easy to defeat. They weren't even a full army. They could still do this much damage to us. Yeah, they were pretty strong. Had about half an army. He had more than one army and a fort. One and a fort of an army. Still, they would put up this much of a resistance. We they lost 50% of our troops. They lost 78% of theirs. They were really good troops. against the spearmen over there. Oh, there are some spearmen still fighting them. Over there. Fight these guys. Only nine remaining of the warriors. Might loosen the wall. They're almost out of the infantry. They even lost a bunch of archers here. Yeah. To the towers, I believe. They already taken the tower. Need to take it to the archers. We will send up the Shadow Glen Guardians now. The elite spearman unit. So there's their stats again. 15, 5, 16. A better defense than the Furbolgs. And one better attack. They have really good stats. Okay, we'll send them to. Orchards, I think, you could also move up. No, I think the orchards will move back. Fighting furballs here. Take this area. Over there. Fight those fur bulbs.
arcs have reached the wall. They look really cool, and they used to stand normally. Let's attack the furbolgs with the archers. What are your stats in melee, by the way? 7, 8, uh, 9 defense. They are not that good in melee. I will spend them anyway. in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Shadowland Guardians have arrived here. Perfect. The other ones seem a little bit bugged. Couldn't really move there with all their troops. Bugged in their pathfinding. Troops to handle, but for both. Yeah, we are winning. Okay, more troops there, and even more here. Oh, they're coming. guys now we send up the other archers it is too to praise the day before sunset but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory lost a lot of the mages too suspect they have been shot at Without me realizing it, let's move them back. Look, we lost almost all the mages. Their towers is the reason for that. This is a really good defensive settlement. Shooting towers. Didn't remember to move them away. We lost 55%, they lost 90%. If we and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Lord, preserve us. We have lost half of our men. Yeah, 
this was kind of a catastrophe. We are leading, but we have lost way more than we should have. Probably due to those towers. We must have killed a lot of troops. Both elf, knight of an archers and furbolgs. to fight the melee they are out of arrows Frame that the models are distorted, the arms and such. They are not properly adjusted for the skeleton. Scenarius army. And we killed 96% and we lost 58%. Only 4 swordsmen remaining are warriors, 14 in the other unit. 3 spearmen and uh, 2 spearmen. Okay. Lost all, almost all the infantry. Had to use archers in melee. Furbolgs are no joke. They were actually really good even without more than one of the casters. Their infantry weren't bad, unlike many of the other rebel infantry and minor faction infantry units. They're just slaughtering the archers. Fight the last verbal too. This became a really long episode due to this battle. We also wanted to play another one against the Murlocs. I think this will be the final battle in this episode. We'll do another video where we take the final Murloc area. Maybe some other areas too. The reason is because it could crash against the Murlocs like it did previously. It in the previous episode. The and I don't want that to happen when we have fought this long battle. So we lose 5 minutes in this battle or something. I don't want that. Maybe we will fight it. Oh. 
kind of want to get rid of the Murlocs. We can focus on other stuff. We have more furball areas, but they are so strong that we will need reinforcements in the Danasis area before we can take the furball area. They are, they are too strong. A few units to handle. You could hardly handle them. You could hardly handle them with more than one entire army. So we lost a lot of units to their towers too. Elven voices. It was a guy that actually had added that, but never released his work, so maybe it wasn't finished. Would increase the immersion a bit with the actual work with three Night Elven voices. Their units and heroes and such. Same voice actor that did the Amazon in W2, I believe. And the sorceress, at least Amazon. Yeah, we will not underestimate the furballs, they are actually good. Fled finally. Good, another one died. Killed, 60% allies killed. We'll hunt them. The plaza. The infantry. Building we'll captured. Good. Seven Night of Warriors here. Hunting them. Oh, here we have some fur bugs. Enemy fur bugs. On the seven night of an archer survived. And the eleven of the other units, we lost almost all of them. They weren't very good in melee. Side. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Don't the gate has to fall to us. Don't know why that is the case. Now we are holding the wall, but not the gate has for some reason. The towers are bagged. And back from Elder Scrolls, they aren't fixed. Kill 
loose, guys. Spearman, Shadowland Guardians. I kill them. Right, Scenarius himself. Can't move in there. Thin houses. Yes, there was an invisible wall. For some reason, the manufacturers are controlling the tower. And the gate house. I think it's not worth it to try and go there return. Scenarius, I don't want him to die due to that oil or something. It's pretty fast. He's one of the important unique generals, so makes sense. We don't want to waste him. The bodyguard of keepers of the grow. Game. This is the bodyguard. 36 melee attack, 20 missile, 11 defense. Okay. Expert hitting in woods can form shooting circle, effective against armor. On the bonus in snow, excellent morale, good stamina. Yeah, he's really good. Okay. Well, it's time to just kill off the final units here. Send the basic stuff. That's their mage. Two spearmen. Five warriors. Four more warriors. Alright, you don't need to send the 19 spearmen there. We've taken the plaza now. There's their mage, the one that survived. Praise to Kill them. Lord. All of Christendom will they be won. by the victory we have won here today. Taladan of the Thurbolgs is dead. That's their leader. We won. Clear victory. Yeah. Scenarius of the night elves and 2256 night elves lost 1436 troops. 820 remaining, so we lost like half the army, more than half. Enemies killed, 1210. Tal <coughs> Taladan of the Furbolgs had 1345 Furbolgs, lost all of them, but they killed 1688. They killed more than, than they lost, very good for them. Here are the details. Okay. Oil, the enemies. Very good. Clock is um, it's four twenty in, in the morning Swedish time. So yeah, I will need to end the episode here. We will exterminate the population of the settlement. They have no building standing. Except the castle, of course. Gives us extra wall defenses, reinforced gates, number of free upkeep units, 5. Public order bonus due to low recruitment slash large rank. We'll 
build dirt roads there. We are also gonna need to build some buildings to get troops. We can build a night saber tamer, give us the mounted night Island warriors and mounted sentries, which is like mounted bodyguard units. They are not bodyguards, but the the, the bodyguard infantry, but mounted. Okay, and then we have proving grounds will give us the volunteers, the spearmen and the warriors, and then we have the hunter's lodge will give us the archers, and we have the workshop will give us the night elven repeater bolt throwers, which is their siege engine so, yeah, that is only good against um, troops can't destroy walls. Alright, so we won this battle too. Much troops, we regain some of our losses, including some furbogs. Took a really good settlement here. Castle Timmer more hold. Furbog infested night of an area. Resistance is futile. Okay, Timber more hold. We still haven't taken this area, I wanted to take it too, but we'll take it in the next episode. So, uh, we also have a Merle carry over here, but they have a sea guy and general or officer. Yeah, so, so they are dangerous. We also have more furball areas to take this one. And areas, two areas here. Then we have Murlocs here. And we have a Murloc area down here too. The former Nag area. We take all the Murloc areas and we'll also take all the furball areas. But we have seen that the furballs are very strong. So if we attack with these guys we will lose. We need a much stronger force before we can take this area of Starbreeze village from the Furbogs. It's just a village, so it's not as worthwhile to take as it's the castle. We have now 14 areas. We've taken quite a few areas, but most of them have been worthless stuff like villages. Here's another worthless village. You need to build them up from scratch. Even a dirt to work this village. The only good one we took was this one and it cost a lot too to take. Castle. Okay, there is another good settlement here I believe. Yes. Orders. Move us an archer over there. Let's check out the area. Still held by the rebels. Yes. I think we will end the turn. Right, presented with one care. End of turn report. Alliance of Lordran now has the overall strongest faction largest population and the best production in the world, but Scourge still has the best financial situation and the strongest military. Okay, construction report, we have dirt roads in Timber Mohold and an Elven port in Aberdeen. Okay, so Aberdeen. Okay. Couldn't reach that army this turn. Another Merlok army here, similar to the others. A similar Murloc area. Here we have a priest, by the way. Cool model. We reached the area with Tyrande Whisperwind. We'll wait one turn to combine the troops here. Don't, don't need two generals, but... Well, we'll see what we do. Here we have another rebel area, Mott and Bailey, they are almost as worthless as the villages, slightly better. Um, they like the castle version of the village. And paging orcs, inside we have a huge orc stack, they are fell orcs I believe. The pictures are ordinary orcs. We have a general, Urtron, two units of orc warriors, two units of grunts. Yeah, one unit of orc spear, two units of orc spearmen, two units of orc spear throwers, and one unit of orc archers. Okay, so not the best troops, but 
We are numerous. We have a Orc Wolf Rider Bodyguard. Light Cavalry. Alright, we'll return with this army. Another priestess here. The two priestesses at the start. Meave. Cradle song. Move her over there. So we have a port. We need a fleet. We build ships. Also recruit. Merchants and diplomats. Start with the merchant. Your might, your will. These troops could also move. My lord, Sarbudei, march! We continue tomorrow, my lord. Order. Send reinforcements over there, match the troops. Orders. Scenarius could be moved over here. Can yes. move out this unit too. March! We march no further today, Lord. We had the uh, triads in the army too. We never saw them in the battle. They are pretty good. Lee attack 12, miss attack 12, 11 to defense, 6 to battle with hidden in woods, etc. Now let's check the buildings and such. We can build a sentinel watch post here. You can already get some good stuff from the capital. Including idle volunteers, spearmen, warriors, traveling guardians, idle archers. We have the assassins here. You might want an assassin, an agent, and a spy. And a diplomat will go for the agents here. We can also get Mounted Elven Warriors, Moon Priestesses, Priests, Night Elf Priestesses, Mages, and Druids of Talon and Druids of the Claw. They are also Mages, but that can transform into a cool animals in battle and fight in melee. So when they fight in melee they are animals, and when they fight from afar they are humanoids. They are really cool. We'll go for the agents for now. So what about actual buildings? Nightal volunteers, archers, spearmen, warriors, nightal one, mounted knight and warriors, shotgun guardians, moon strikers, sentinels, mounted sentries, hunter seas, triads. So we can go for this building. Go for mines, let it near, let it near. Okay, we're done. Let's end the turn again. Right, the candidate for adoption, we don't care about that. New mission. Want us to take this area? Yeah, we're about to do that. We'll attack it through the Whisper Wind. Send this unit into her army. These units will also be sent into her army. And these units. And this unit too. End of turn report, same as before. Got the mission faction announcements, recruitment report. We have a ship now. We have new spies, an assassin, 
spy, a diplomat, and a merchant. Nice. A DC general too. Well, we could move her into the comet too. We're ready to attack the Murlocs here now. I think we'll do that during the next turn. This army is almost there too. Couldn't reach the area. Leave the volunteers here. Uh, there are two. We'll leave them there. Move up to the capital. Actually, Maeve could have returned. Then we'll move the volunteers to the army. Two big armies. Yes. There are two more Naga regions. We want to take this area, village, and then we want to take an area over here. It used to be a castle, maybe a village here, I don't know. Might have reduced it to a village, or it's still a castle. We'll see. A lot of cavalry, four units of cavalry, a lot of infantry, four units of uh, warriors, two units of volunteers, and three units of spearmen. Only one unit of arch, no, two units of archers, green wolf runner, sentinel bodyguard. Tyrande has the cool moon priestesses as a bodyguard. I kind of want this archer unit to join too, then they might be able to win on their own. We need three archers at least. We'll not attack this time either. During the next time will be better. Okay. Ruin grounds, we'll go for that in ruins of Matistra. And in ruins of Basil Aaron, Shadow Glen, Village. Hmm, we can go for the small farms there. We can go for the dirt roads in Aberdeen, 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 maybe. Okay, Beltanier and Donasus. Port in Feather Moon, Ruin Grounds in Eldaret. Actually, Eldaret is Mutton Bailey. Still looks like a Naga Mutton Bailey. Weird. I guess when we upgrade it, it will change to a Night Elven settlement, but as long as it's just converted, it will be. Uh, it will be a. Naga settlement, but I believe the Mutton Bailey is still better than the village and defending. And then, as we can go for a port, we'll do that. Third road in Starfall. Alright, we're done. It's about recruitment. Go to the capital. Okay, the best available troops. And then we will recruit. And the horses, no archers actually. Maybe not volunteers. Two units of volunteers, maybe. No, we'll go for the archers. And uh, now we can't do anything more. 
we'll could end the turn, we could attack, but I think we'll end the turn. So we can add this last archer unit there to the army of Turan there. Whisper wind. Turn turn five. Except all the new generals do not have any traits. Trade collision is the strongest military in the world now. We have new buildings. Leather Tanir and Astranar. Constellas, we have an Elven Market in our building. We have Dirt Roads. Starfall, we have Dirt Roads in Nighthaven. We have Leather Tanir. And in Ruins of Contista, we have Proving Grounds. And we have that in Ruins of Special Aran and in Eldarit as well. And in Timberman Hall, we have mines constructed. Okay. Volunteers can be moved up to the capital. Relations report. We have poor relations with the Farak, the Burning Legion, and Ankarai. All of them enemies. Unit recruitment completed. In order of sale, we have new Knight of an Archers there. Yes. Now we are ready. Attack with Tran the Whisper Wind. Let's do the recruitment and construction first. So we got some new agents too. We have an assassin. We'll move him down. This is the assassin. The Knight Elves. All general. Also used by one general as a custom general. And we have the spy. Move the spy down here. We have the fairy dragon as a spy. The Knight Elves. Then we have diplomat. Female volunteer. No sentry actually. Female sentry. The bodyguard unit pretty much. Have done another one too. Similar to this one with a different hairstyle that I used for the merchant, but then I remade the merchant into the dryad. So that model isn't in use anymore. We have the merchant too. We need to send the merchant somewhere. This is the merchant for the night elves. We have a ship now. We can use to invade the Ayers here and to attack this area and reinforce, I believe, Vandral um, Staghelm, the night elves. I think it's time to move to this area, this army. Another Malfurian Storm Rage. We're still constructing the Sentinel Watch Post in Nordra Sail. Timberman Hold. Go for the workshop there to get the siege engine. Night Haven. What wooden castle from a town? No, we will go for the small elven farms there. Sentinel barracks in Astranar. We can go for that. Small elven farms in ruins of Metistra. Mines in Constellas. Small Eleven Farms in Ruins of Passion Aaron. In the Ruins of Passion Aaron. Okay, um, in a burden. Go for a leather to near. We're out of money. And this army is ready to attack. I will end the episode here because it's too long already. We have another Murloc army just similar to the others. And a similar settlement, a village, a ruin, ruined area that used to belong to the Naga. We will make a third save here. Save it. Alright, thank you for watching and 
hope you liked the episode. It came very long and probably large too in size. I'll see you in the next episode. Playing as the Night Elves or the Kaldore, as they're known in their own language. In the Reign of Chaos early campaign. We will in the next episode we'll take this area from the Murlocs. Then we'll move down to Nas Juvel here and take it. Hopefully it's a castle. In the worst case it's also an, uh, an, a village. Okay, then we will try to attack the orcs in the other rebel area over here. With this army under cool leader Malfurion, Malfurion Stormrage. And we will take Ferrandi Whisperwind to the Donasus area and combine her forces with Fandral Staghelm and then try to take this area after which we will move to this higher and this higher and conquer these areas okay thank you for watching and see you in the next episode bye